the days when cars could only be driven by he-men, he-men chose them. They were bundles of trouble and mystery. The cars, I mean. And the less women had to do with them, the better we liked it. Today, however, the increasing efficiency and simplicity of motoring has changed our outlook, and we like to be consulted. After all, we drive as well as men, so why shouldn't we help to choose the car? By the way, I shouldn't be surprised if this couple decide upon a Ford 8. If they don't, it will completely ruin the film. That's all right. He's signing on the dotted line. Yes, that V8 is a nice-looking car, isn't it? But so are all the Ford cars. Just you wait and see what the 8 can do. The running-in notice is really very important advice on how to ensure that you will get the best out of the car. New engines are like babies and some husbands. They have to be nursed. Oh, there's an indescribable thrill in driving a new car, whether it's your first or your latest one. And when it's comfortable, good to look at, to say nothing of having plenty of power, then you have that happy feeling that even the stern Bobby is admiring you at the wheel. Nowadays, with the spread of the suburbs, the station may be some distance from your house. It's so much safer to keep that precious husband of yours out of crowded buses and run him by car to the station. After all, the poor man has to work so hard all day, so he says. What a wonderful sense of freedom the possession of a car brings. You can go where you like and do what you like. It makes traveling on long or short journeys in town or country so easy. One very important point in any car is good braking. That shows the value of efficient brakes. After all, it might not have been just a ball in front. Contrary to general opinion, the running in period of a car need not curtail its activities. Admittedly, it calls for patience when you feel like stepping on it, and for the future benefit of your car, it requires you to limit the speed in each gear. Otherwise, your car can be used for all its normal purposes, and the more you realize its uses, the more you feel the need for it. Realizing the importance of correct service, every new Ford car is sold with the offer of a free service at 300 miles and 1,000 miles. scheduled is the result of long experience of such things and it is uniform through the Ford dealer organization in Great Britain. Just see how thorough the inspection is. Few of us are engineers or even mechanically minded. Our main demand is for as little trouble as possible. The Ford was designed with trouble-free motoring in mind and the Ford company has organized a service which, because of its efficient uniformity, watches over Ford cars wherever they are likely to go in any part of the world. To all of us, women and men drivers, that's a very comforting thought. Again, on highway or byway, the engine purring with all the pleasure of its smooth running quietness. Happy picnic days, memories of days that have gone and anticipation of many to come. For with a car, we can enjoy the countryside at will. When the speedometer registered over 500 miles, the running in should be completed and you are safe to let the speedometer needle flicker up to higher speeds. The freedom of the road is yours. Now, Mr. Adam, will you carry on the commentary? I expect you want to take the wheel again later. How do you do, everybody? What a nice day to begin a holiday. And what a fine car for it. Just look at the ample room for luggage. And there's plenty for passengers, too. You know, it's a grand feeling to get into your car, knowing that the car is yours, and that you can go where you like and stop when you like, without using up too much personal energy. It's a feeling that only a car can give you.
going to take you on a typical tour, a varied tour, we think you'll agree, and we'll start with Bournemouth, with its beautiful gardens and tropical shrubs and trees. It's quite a contrast to some of the villages, mountain scenery and rough stuff we're going to show you later. From Bournemouth, we move on to Weymouth. We're attracted, as everyone is, by the Punch and Judy, old yet always new to each generation. The fleet was assembled off Weymouth when we were there. Tradition is strong in the Navy, and so is efficiency. With almost 40 years of tradition and progress behind it, that principle applies to Ford, too. Still, we mustn't talk too much shop on our holiday. If you haven't been to Torquay, this is the Pearl of the West. Peaceful and beautiful, with its profusion of glorious foliage. And now let's make our way northward into Gloucestershire to one of the loveliest of its many lovely villages. Set in the Cotswolds and standing on the River Windrush, Morton on the Water has an air of quiet content which reacts immediately on those who stop there. Onward and upwards into Herefordshire, through villages of stone, of half-timbered houses, to villages of picturesque charm, which lie in the deep valleys. There's much to be said for the peaceful and unchanging village in this disturbed and progressive world. Even the oldest inhabitant has seen little alteration in his native Withington. Webley, a few miles away, is a distinct contrast with half-timbered cottages, and what almost seems to be the continuation of the village is really Pembry. All these are within a 10-mile radius of Hereford. On the road, we meet many types of pedestrians, and these demand a special courtesy. Well, as the geese have taken to the road, we'll take to the water, and as the music implies, we have entered Wales. Still northwards, we find nearing Dolgethley, the stone cottage village of Miss Kelly. Here now is the country of Snowdonia's mountains, and those who retain the spirit of adventure always enjoy taking such an alternative route as this one to Bala via Bulchegroit. That is, of course, if they want to go to Bala. This route contains one of the most famous trial hills with a hard-going gradient of one in four. Practical for motorists, but that does not apply to Ford motorists. Round the bend of Cardigan Bay lies Cricket, and it's a grand run through typical North Wales scenery. Across the bay is the castle, which all tourists visit when they stop here. Here, too, is the famous residence of a famous statesman. But the magnetic north is drawing us ever upwards. The next stop is Pont Aberglaslin, in what might be called the Falls and Gullies country. One never thinks of better Sequoid without instinctively thinking also of the Swallow Falls, surely most beautiful in this beautiful island of ours. They're grand, aren't they?
Conway, with its famous castle and its fine suspension bridge, built in complete harmony with its far more ancient background. It's really fascinating, don't you think, driving over this slender yet magnificent structure. From Conway, we turn eastward. We have shown you town, seaside, village, valley and mountain, but some of you may like to try your skill on more hazardous bypaths, like Sicknan Pass, incidentally only a few miles from Conway. You can see the dangerous state of the track, narrow, uneven and steep. Did I say steep? Well, you must be sure of your car to tackle obstacles like this. Perhaps, of course, the Derbyshire Dales may appeal to you more. You can choose the orthodox roads along the glorious valleys, but we're going to concentrate on Freak Hill. Here's Jenkins Chapel. Frankly, such hills need a first-class driver, but we need, too, a first-class car. And here's the car if you want to test your skill. Yorkshire drivers would perhaps be more at home on Rosedale Chimney, a real terror with deep steps, not mind you that they hold any terror for the fall. Another Yorkshire teaser is Park Rash, with a loose surface and steep gradient of one in three. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you have seen a variety of country covered by the Ford 8. To the women, we would say there is no easier car to drive, to the men, no better car to own, to both, no safer car to handle. In town or country, or normal drive or unusual work, like that of the picture on the right, the Ford is the all-round car for those who demand motoring economy and unfailing reliability, coupled with comfort, appearance, speed and safety. <laughs>